Hello, and welcome to your detox, to your transformation. So this is a video that's going to help you feel prepared and also tell you about what steps to take before we even begin and then what to expect. So I have prepared a slideshow that we will go through together. So let me just share my screen with you all and we will get going. So oh, let me just move myself right up here. Okay, there we go. So welcome to your detox. This is the year of you. So as you know, detoxing does take time. Unfortunately, there is nothing that exists that is just a super simple, quick fix that does not exist in the world. So detoxing does take time. And I like to um, encourage everyone to think of this as a journey. So this is the beginning of your journey and how far and how long it lasts will depend on you, what your goals are, what your symptoms are, and how long you've been dealing with that. So um, so first things first, I would love for you to set your intentions. So pull out a pen and paper, um, pencil, paper, whatever you've got going. And I would love for you to write down your goals. So number one is your why. Why am I doing this? What brought you here? What are your goals? Why are you choosing to take this step in your health? So just take a few moments to really think about that, sit with it. And it might not be, oh, I just want to feel better. Maybe it's something bigger. Maybe it's you want to be more present for your child or because you want to participate in some amazing event, some sporting event, or you want to travel and you haven't been able to because of your health. So it might be you know, more simple than, and try to make it actually be something more simple than just, oh, I want to feel better. What about your life is going to change by you taking this step? And then take some time to reflect and write down where do you want to be in 30 days, in 60 days, and in 90 days. So where do I want to be in a month? A month from now, what do I hope to achieve with my health? And then in two months from now, what am I hoping to achieve with my health? And then in three months, what is it that you're looking for? So being realistic with your goals is always helpful, but also, you know, you're allowed to dream here. Um, and just remembering that it does take 90 days. So three months for a true deep cellular regeneration. So just take a moment to think about 30, 60, 90 days. Where will you be? And of course, you can pause this video. And then what are my top two or three health goals? So thinking about the things that bother you the most or the things that you want the most in your life. So it could be um, you want to get off medication or you would like to have your migraines stop happening or you want to lose some excess weight. Uh, maybe it's you want to have more energy, more focus. Uh, you want your skin to look better and clearer. So whatever it is, take a moment to write down two or three of your top health goals. And again, you can pause this video if you would like more time. Next thing, I would love for you to fill out the tracker sheet. So you should have received this in an email or a message from whoever is guiding you. If not, reach out to that person and they can send it over. But there is a health tracking worksheet that is going to be really fun and useful for you to look back on as you move through your journey. So as I have worked with clients over the last couple of years, what I have found is that people often forget where they started myself included. We forget where we began. Once we start feeling better, it's so wonderful because the brain protects us in this way, but we forget how bad we used to feel. So I really love for people to fill out this worksheet in the beginning before you start anything. So you can really look back and reflect on and compare how far you've come. And it's a really fun thing to celebrate. So definitely take some time to fill out the tracker sheet. It should only take about five minutes if that. It's very quick and simple. So please take the time to do that. And then, of course, check out the cookbook. So Sprout Kissed 30 Meal Plan is available for you to accompany you through this journey. Um, you can use it as a day by day. You don't have to think about anything. You can just, you know, plug and play. So there's a weekly shopping list. Um, so every week you can just follow along, buy everything in the shopping list. It is intended for one person. So if you are cooking for more than one person, just multiply that shopping list by however many people. But you can just literally 
buy everything on that shopping list. And then day by day, you'll just make the meal in that week. So that's a really simple way. So you don't have to think I'm trying to make this as streamlined as possible for you. Or you can just use it by flipping through, picking out your favorite recipes, or just using it as inspiration. But I highly encourage you to at least look through that cookbook to really get an idea about what it's like to eat, because it will inspire you and excite you when you realize that eating plant-based can be really delicious and satisfying and quite easy. So please take some time to look through the cookbook. So those are some of the things to get you going before you even start. Write down your goals, set your intentions, fill out the tracker sheet, check out the cookbook. Also, please, please, please take some before photos. You don't ever have to show these to another living soul. These can just be for you, but truly the best way to see what we've accomplished and how our bodies are changing is through images. So these are some of my personal before photos and after photos. So this was my very first cleanse, this full body photo, photo over here. This is the first time I ever did 30 day cleanse with Perium. This was on June 1st and on July 1st, a month later, I took the same photo. As you can see, in just one month, I definitely toned up. I lost some excess belly fat. Um, my neck is something that really surprises me because I have so, my, my body tends to really hold on to lymph and I have swollen lymph nodes. It's one of the ways that my body responds to imbalance. So you can see my neck here is quite inflamed. It's quite large and wide. And after one month of nourishing my body and bringing it into an alkaline state, my neck really thinned out. And that was because the lymph had started to move and my inflammation had gone down. So you can really see my full body had changed in just 30 days. And then, so that was in June, 2021. In January, 2022, I decided to go even further and moved into some regenerative health protocols. I did still use Perium, but I really moved further into regenerative health. And I took some before and after photos. So this was in January and this was in May of last year. So you can see my eyes were so puffy um, in January. So there is a thing called facial mapping, and maybe we'll get more into this later on, but your face actually has a lot of information about what's going on inside your body. So the upper eyelids, when they're puffy and kind of droopy, that's actually a reflection of your thyroid health. So you can see mine were quite puffy and droopy. Um, also, this line right here is a calcium fluoride line. It's um, related to our parathyroid strength. And mine, I had these lines, they were pretty... Um, deep, pretty pronounced. And so they, you can see over here in May, they were much better. Also these bags under my eyes that come down and hang down. This is a reflection of my bowel health or anybody's bowel health. When you have bags that kind of come down below the eyes, it's bowel health and bowel toxicity. And you can see that mine were quite pronounced. And after four months or five months, they really, really cleared up. You can see my eyes look so much bigger brighter, um, way less puffy. And it's hard to see in these photos, but my eyebrows even started to grow back in. So this inner part of your eyebrow is actually a reflection of kidney health. And so as my kidneys were starting to regenerate and become stronger, there is now hair growing back in my eyebrows, which is really exciting. And even my eyebrows and eyes are more level than they used to be. So this is a reflection of my whole body. The inflammation is going down and everything's just calming down. So pretty exciting. So really take photos of your full body, of your eyes, of your face, and also of your tongue. So the tongue is really, really informative. Um, Chinese medicine has been using, um, you know, in Ayurveda as well, they use the tongue, um, how the tongue looks to really understand what's going on in the body. So some of the things that you can look at is if there's a white film on the tongue like this, it's systemic candida overgrowth. So a lot of people have this. It's okay. Don't freak out if you have it, but it's just something to pay attention to and take photos so that you can compare your, uh, your progress. Another thing that you might see are cracks in the tongue, which are indicative of different, you know, organs and glands in the body, but also the scalloping on the edges of the tongue right here. You can kind of see that's when the tongue actually swells and the scallops are from the tongue pushing into the teeth. So this is a body um, trying to absorb more nutrients and it's also a reflection of thyroid health. So take some before photos of your tongue. It can really surprise you how that will change over your health journey. Your nails are also quite informative. So take some photos of your nails. Um, 
When there are these vertical ridges, it's a sign of parathyroid weakness. And when there are spots in the nails, it is a sign of zinc deficiency. If the nails curve up, that's a sign of B12 deficiency. So just take some pictures of your nails and let's see how they change. Your hair and how it's growing will also be um, something that you would want to track during this whole pr process. So when the hair is thinning right here around the temple, it's actually a sign of gallbladder stress. Um, and also just thinning of the hair in general or dandruff is a sign of lymphatic congestion. So take some pictures of your hair, take some notes and see how it changes. All right. So now what is inside? of your 30 day cleanse. So everybody's 30 day cleanse is going to be a little bit different. So if yours doesn't look exactly like this, don't fret. Um, but this is kind of the baseline 30 day cleanse I'm going to go through. And then yours may be different, or you might have things in addition based on what your guide, your uh, practitioner has decided ha is going to be the best for you. But I just want to go through the baseline. So our baseline kit. So what you're going to have most people is you're going to have four bags of shakes, or if you have epigenius kids, it'll be two bags. If you're in the grain free pack, you're going to have a whole bunch of little bags, but you will have enough, um, um, shake formula for two shakes per day for the 30 days. So these can be used as meal replacements or not, depending on your goals and your caloric needs, but you're going to be really making sure you're getting this in twice a day. The premise of this cleanse is adding in alkaline nutrition that is full of micronutrients that is going to flood your body with nutrients that it has been depleted from. So what makes this so special is that the shakes are actually whole foods, no additives, no fillers, no isolated vitamins or minerals that have been made in a lab. This is hundred percent whole food that has been grown in nutrient dense soil on regenerative agricultural farms. And for example, our main farm is in Utah and there is 96 feet of topsoil. That is an amazing amount of topsoil. So a lot of the food in the United States and in Europe and elsewhere is very depleted because our soil is depleted. And that's what makes this nutrition so powerful is that it is actually full of vitamins and minerals and enzymes. So really make sure that you're adding into this, adding this into your body twice a day. Very, very important. So everyone's going to have two shakes a day, and that might look different um, depending on what you've chosen. Um, as well as most everybody should be having super aminos twice a day. So five capsules twice a day. Again, this may look different. Follow the protocol that's been given to you. I am just going through the baseline kit, but super aminos, um, amino acids are the baseline, the building box of protein. So this is actually providing your body with 98% bioavailable amino acids, which leads to our protein needs. So this is really important, a really great part of this kit. It's going to ensure you have all of your protein needs covered for the day in a way that is very gentle on your body by giving your kidneys and your liver a break so that it can absorb protein without having to break down complete protein molecules into amino acids. This is already amino acids that your body can just easily absorb into the bloodstream in 23 minutes. So taking those twice a day, our biomedic is our gut healing herbal formula. So this is a really powerful part of our kit. So it's actually been clinically proven to remove glyphosate from the body. So you'll be taking this capsule one time in the morning, one capsule in the morning and one capsule in the evening. So this is a really wonderful thing that you should make sure you take. It's going to help clean out your intestines. It's going to help um, restructure the tight junctures in your bowels that have probably most everybody is dealing with leaky gut. So this is going to help um, restructure the bowels. It's going to help clean them out, remove the mucoid plaque so that our bodies can better absorb our nutrition as well as pulling glyphosate out of the body. It has also been clinically proven to lower the C-reactive protein in our blood, which is actually a marker for inflammation. So this is actually bringing inflammation down in the body as well. So make sure you're taking your biomedic twice a day, one capsule a day. The apothecary is a concentrated tart cherry juice that is organic, and this may seem like not much, but it's actually very powerful. So you'll be taking two tablespoons of this a day with water. You can either throw this in with your shake at any time of the day. You can have this with water any time of the day, 
or you could have it as a nightcap. I will say my first cleanse, I was coming off of a very French diet. Um, I live in France most of the time and I was used to having a glass of red wine at night. So I actually would put my apothecary in a nice, beautiful wine glass in the evenings and I would drink it as if it was my glass of wine because it looks just like red wine and it would be my nightcap and it was really fun. So you can also do that for yourself if that's also part of your lifestyle that you are um transitioning out of right now. So the apothecary is really powerful. Um, tart cherries actually stimulate the pineal gland, which actually creates melatonin, which allows us to move into a deep REM sleep, which is where healing happens, which is very important while we move through detoxing. So the apothecary is very powerful for helping us get into deep REM sleep. It's also supporting our kidney function. So our kidneys is one of our main eliminative pathways. As we detox, we're going to be stirring up heavy metals. We're going to be stirring up parasites, cellular waste, moving lymphatic congestion. And we want to make sure our eliminative pathways are open. And this includes the kidneys, the bowels, the lungs, and the skin. So the biomedic is going to be helping your bowels and the apothecary is going to be helping your kidneys. So very important to make sure you're taking this apothecary every day. And it's also very great for infl inflammation. So cherries are great for as an anti-inflammatory. So it's just an added bonus. And then the last thing that you'll have is the super cleanse R. This is your herbal formula parasite cleanse. Now you won't start the super cleanse R until around day 10. It may be slightly different based on your personal schedule, but everybody waits until at least day 10 to start. The reason is that we want our bodies to be nourished and supported with all of these amazing nutrients before we move into a parasite cleanse. So the parasite cleanse is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be eliminating parasites, as well as ensuring that the bowels are moving. This is going to last for 10 days. You're going to take two capsules in the morning, two capsules in the evening, and it's going to be a 10 day period. You're going to go through one bag of your super cleanse R this first round. Now, as parasites die off, they lay eggs. And so we need to do the parasite cleanse a second time, about two weeks after you finish your first parasite cleanse round, you want to do it again, another 10 days, two capsules in the morning, two capsules in the evening. And this is because we want to wait for those eggs to hatch because parasites lay eggs as they die as a survival mechanism. So we want to do it again so that as those eggs are hatching, but before they mature and are able to lay eggs again, we want to get back in there and get rid of them. So you have two bags of super cleanse R. So you'll be taking one bag this first month and one bag this second month. And then of course you have your stainless steel shaker, which is super handy. You can put hot drinks in there. You can put your shakes in there, your pot, the cherry, carry it around with you. It's a great little tool. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the science behind what you're doing for your body. So there is alkaline and acidic sides of chemistry, right? We've got our acids, we've got our bases. Humans are an alkaline species. Our blood is at a 7.4 pH, that is an alkaline pH, and our blood has to stay at 7.4 pH or we die. <laughs> so our body does everything that it needs to do to make sure our blood stays alkaline. So when we are eating a lot of acidic foods, our body has to work really hard to protect our, our life, to protect our blood. And so what we're doing in this cleanse is we're moving into an alkaline diet to make everything calm down. We're going to bring our bodies into a state of rest so that they can repair and they can restore vitality to our cells and become more hydrated. So if you think about acids, acids are very drying, they're very hot, they're very inflammatory. Cells actually will start clumping together. This is what will lead to cysts and tumors. And so it's just a very um, harsh environment, right? If you think about acids. Now an alkaline environment, not too far up on the alkaline scale, but at the round where our blood is 7.4, Right around there, it's a very cooling, calming, hydrating um, existence. So our cells are very spread out. They're very hydrated. They're healthy. They're cool. The inflammation comes down and it's actually where our body functions at its best. That is our optimal functioning zone. So what we're going to be doing this month is flooding our body with alkaline nutrition using the Purium products, but also by changing our diet. So the foods we want to stay away from are all of our acidic foods. That includes meat, coffee, dairy, alcohol, cigarettes, refined sugar, refined breads and gluten, 
And actually emotions like anger are also acidic. So this is going to be helpful for you in this month to think about some meditation, some breathing, some mindfulness practices will also bring the acidity levels down in your body. Now, alkaline foods are our fruits, our vegetables, our raw vegetables in particular, uh, coconut, and then some grains that are alkaline that are fun to use are millet, quinoa, and amaranth. So, and also joy. So finding ways to bring joy and pleasure into your life this month is actually going to be a big part of your healing journey. So detox symptoms can happen. It's very common. It doesn't happen to everybody, but I like to talk about it so that you are prepared just in case these come up for you. So what might occur during your cleanse is you could experience some headaches, mild fatigue. You could experience some cold or flu-like symptoms skin irritations, constipation, or loose stools. So when you're shedding cellular waste, those toxins are mobilized and they need to get carried out of your, out of your system, out of your body. And now sometimes this can cause discomfort for a short period of time. So if you have anything coming up for you before you stop your cleanse, reach out to whoever is guiding you in this journey and check in with them. Ask them if what you're experiencing is normal. If it's a detox symptom, most likely it is. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a client tell me that they started the cleanse and then within a few days, they got a big cold and they wanted to stop because they felt like, oh, they're too sick. They can't continue. It's not a cold. You didn't catch a virus. All it is is that your lymph is starting to move. Things are starting to mobilize. And this is actually really exciting. It means that your body is responding and this is something to celebrate and keep going because this is exactly what your body needs to do. That's what detoxing is. It's getting things out. It's mobilizing everything. So please check in about your detox symptoms with us. We will tell you what we think. We will guide you along and just know that any of these things coming up are very normal. And then we have a 30 day schedule. Um, either it'll look like this if you work with me directly, if you work with somebody else, it might look a little bit differently, or maybe you're following the, the schedule that is um, provided with the kit. So I just wanted to go through quickly. Um, when you wake up in the morning, um, you're gonna start off with some lemon water. Warm lemon water is better, or you know, definitely don't put ice in it, but if you just want like cold or warm lemon water, Excellent. Have a nice big glass and take your aminos. And then you'll have some fresh hydrating fruit like melons, grapes, berries, apples, oranges, um, less on the banana side and more think like juicy fruits. So depending what season it is right now for you, um, you know, try to eat what's in season. So that'll be like a nice morning lemon water, aminos, fruit. And then when you're hungry, you'll have your first micronutrient shake. So your shake will be whatever shake that you have gotten with your kit. You can make it into a smoothie bowl. You can make it into a smoothie, but you want to get that in. It's a wonderful breakfast. Top that smoothie bowl with even more fresh fruit. I love making mine with um, frozen cherries and frozen blueberries. And then I throw it in a bowl and I top it with maybe kiwis or pears, shredded coconut, some um, mulberries, you know, whatever you love, just go and have fun with it. And at the same time, you're gonna take um, one biomedic. And if you are in the middle 10 days of your cleanse, if you're doing your parasite cleanse, you will also take your two super cleanse all right now. Then moving on for lunch, either have a healthy lunch following the guidelines, maybe something from the cookbook, or have your second shake. Again, make it into a smoothie or a smoothie bowl, or just drink it as a shake with some water or some unsweetened nut milk. A little side note on nut milks, please read the label. Make sure that you are avoiding um, nut milks that have a lot of added vitamins in there that have a lot of additives. Definitely stay away from any sugar. Um, reach out to us. We can guide you and point you to some of the better brands that actually are going to be useful. If not, nut milks can actually be um, not that healthy, but they can be if you are reading the labels and getting really clean ones that are just nuts and water. Um, but anyways, bringing it back. So lunch, you can um, choose every day, whether you want your second shake for lunch or for dinner or as a snack, but for lunch, either have a healthy lunch or have a shake. Middle of the day, have a snack. This is not a starvation cleanse. If you are hungry, please eat and please be putting something in your body around every two hours because when we let ourselves get really hungry, that's when we make our poor decisions and we reach for things like chips or crackers, you know, things that we don't want to be eating right now. So please have a snack in the middle of the afternoon. If it's been um, a couple hours after your lunch, have some fruit. Fruit is a wonderful snack. And if you, you know, people say, me, say, say to me sometimes, oh, I've had an apple and I'm still hungry. Well, then eat another one and maybe another one. I'll eat four to five apples at a time. Sometimes I sit down and I eat 
four to six oranges. So really you could have eight clementines if that's what brings you joy. So you can eat as much fruit as you like, or maybe have some like hummus and carrots or cucumber, um, maybe a small salad. If that's your thing, you could have some bliss balls. There's some bliss ball recipes in the cookbook. So have a little snack. Fruit is the best one. Veggies is the second best. But if you really need something a little bit more hearty, go for something like a bliss ball or hummus. Um, after that, in dinner time, we are going to either have a healthy dinner following the guidelines or using something in the cookbook or have a shake. So you want to make sure you have your shake twice a day. Um, again, the shake can be smoothie bowl, smoothie, or just drinking it. Um, and at this time of dinner, you're also going to have one biomedic and two super cleanse are. And then before bed, about an hour before bed, you can have your two tablespoons of apothecary with water. Or if you prefer, you can have that apothecary with any of your shakes throughout the day or any time during the day. So that is a thir basic 30 day schedule. Again, you might be taking some other things that are added in here, but that's kind of the baseline. So days one through 10, we're going to ease into our alkaline diet and incorporate our superfoods. Days 10 through 20, you are going to be moving in to your parasite cleanse. And at this time, it's very important to be on a plant-based diet. If you um, are a raw eater, if that's something in your practice, going raw right now would be fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. Just go plant-based and that's going to be fantastic as well. So days 10 through 20 is a parasite cleanse and days 20 to 30, we're going to be preparing for our next steps. So that's going to look different for everybody. If you are on a longer journey with us, then you will be continuing your plant-based diet. And if you are stepping out of this and this was enough for you, maybe you are transitioning back into your, um, you know, standard way of eating. And also just pay attention during this time. If you are transitioning back into your standard way of eating, see how things affect you and how you feel, but hopefully you're with us for at least 90 days. So we can get to that true deep cellular regeneration. So days 20 to through 30, you'll be checking back in with us and we will be helping you prepare for your next steps. So months two to three, you're going to be month two is going to be your round two parasite cleanse. Very, very, very important. I cannot emphasize this enough. Now you're going to double down and continue the cleanse. Or you're going to move in to a regenerative health protocol for deeper de detoxing. So these are your options. You're going to continue with the same cleanse you were just on. You're going to move into a deeper detox using regenerative health protocols, using, um, you know, working with a detox specialist like myself, or you're going to be moving into a maintenance program. So again, we will be helping you decide and having conversation with you to decide where you want to go next for months two and three and beyond. Also, I would love to let you all know that there is a weekly um, Q&A where you can come for support. You can also bring friends of yours that are interested. They see what you're doing with your body. They're like, whoa, you look amazing. Um, what are you doing? You can bring them, send them to this call, bring them along. Um, but this is going to be a resource available for everybody, whether they're just interested, whether you're already working with us. So every Saturday morning, one, well, it's morning on the on the West Coast and uh, early afternoon on the East Coast. So Saturdays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time or 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, we will be hosting a call. So Ilsa is a regenerative health practitioner like myself. We went through the same training, the same program. We've been friends for a very long time. We work very closely together um, in our businesses. So we will be trading off. So one week, it'll be me. The other weeks, it'll be Ilsa. And then we'll go back and forth. So just so you know, this is available for you all. Um, weekly Q&A, it'll be a 30-minute session on Saturdays. And now is time for questions. Um, please send me an email, reach out to your guide. You can um, come to our Facebook support group that you have should, be, should have been added to. Let us know what questions you have. We are available. If you have just stumbled upon this in the YouTube world and you wanna know more, please leave a comment um, on this video and I will get back to you. So welcome to your detox. This is the year of you and I'm so excited for you and congratulations on taking this next step in your health in your life. And I cannot, you know, share with you how much this is going to transform everything. And I'm so excited for this journey. So have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. And um, here we go.